all about before and after. Yes, that's right. This is the movie where we talk about stuff happening before and stuff that happens after. Before and after what? Before and after everything. Let's start with vor and nach. These two are opposites. They are kind of joined at the hip like twins. We already know we can use vor and nach with time. Wie spät ist es? Es ist viertel vor neun. Es ist zehn nach zwei. We've seen that already, right? Well, there's a movie about telling the time. So here, that's enough said. We can use them in other ways too, like we would in English, to talk about actions taking place before or after something else. But for and nach are prepositions. And what do we know about prepositions? They need a noun or a pronoun to come next. That's the only way it works. Vor Weihnachten bleibe ich in Berlin. Before Christmas, I'm staying in Berlin. And we can play a little bit with the order. Ich bleibe vor Weihnachten in Berlin. Nach Weihnachten bleibe ich auch in Berlin. Or reversed. Ich bleibe nach Weihnachten in Berlin auch. That works fine. But can we use these before-after ideas to do with places and their relationship to each other? Sure. Das Restaurant ist vor und nach die Apotheke. I'm saying you're going to find the restaurant before you get to the pharmacy. Der Hund ist vor dem Restaurant. Here the dog is sitting in front of the restaurant. Say I'm riding on the train from Amsterdam to Moscow. Sure, why not? First I come to Berlin before Warsaw. Berlin kommt vor Warschau, headed east. And so Warsaw is after Berlin. Warschau kommt nach Berlin. Cool, pretty straightforward. But it's no good if you don't have a noun to play with. We need some variations that are going to work with verbs instead. And here they are. Vorhin, earlier today. Vorher, earlier than some other time. Not today. And danach. I come over to your place and you ask me if I want something to eat, but I've already eaten. So I say, ich habe vorhin gegessen. Vorher is referring to an earlier time than we are now. Now is the anchor point in time for vorher in this sentence. Vorher needs an anchor time, whether it's explicitly spelled out or not. Ich habe vorhin gegessen, before ich hierher gekommen bin. But, gestern habe ich vorher gegessen, before ich hierher gekommen bin. Yesterday I ate before I came here. Think of vorhin and vorher means earlier. Maybe because fru means early, you might have thought earlier was frühe, but it's not. Frühe means in earlier times or in the early days. If I show up for a meeting early, though, then I'm early. So, ich bin fru. And I can use frua to mean earlier, like earlier than you, in a comparison, but that does not mean before, it just means earlier when used in a comparison. Ich komme frua als du. Now, we can probably expect the same pattern with danach. Da is there, or that, and nach is after. Ich esse danach. I eat later. Or I will eat after that. Because German does not use the future tense here, it uses the present. Wir sehen einen Film an, also esse ich danach. We watch a film, so I'll eat after that. And that's great, no real problem. Danach contains within it the idea of after that, after something else that we've already talked about or we mutually understand. Okay. Here's something else, something more challenging for you to think about. Before, nach dem. We'll start with before. Looks a lot like before, huh? I ate earlier before I came here. Ich habe vorher gegessen, before ich hierher gekommen bin. So it's kind of the same as before, except when it's not, because we have for when working with a noun. 
So we don't say before Weihnachten. It's for Weihnachten. And we have for hair when working with a verb. So we don't say ich habe before gegessen. It's habe for hair gegessen. So what's left? Imagine I have work to do and imagine also we plan to meet later. But I have to do my work first. So it's ich habe viel Arbeit zu tun before wir uns treffen können. So this must also work with nachdem, don't you think? Ich habe viel Arbeit zu tun, nachdem wir uns treffen. I have a lot of work to do, and then we meet. Hmm, kind of the same message. Work first, then play. So that's it, and hopefully that's cleared a whole lot up for you. As always, Language Gym. Show up, work out.